Hey everyone, today's chore will be cutting wood. So, not a very fun thing to do, but it's uh, how we actually heat our house and heat the shop and heat everything else. Uh, like I said on this channel, we'll be doing everything from a lot of cattle stuff, but some homesteading uh, items as well. And so today that's what we'll be doing. So a little bit about our setup. Uh, a couple years ago, I actually made this table. I'm not as young as I used to be. And so bending over, uh, constantly cutting the wood and picking the logs up and rolling them and everything, kind of getting rough on an old man. So um, we built this table and I'll show you how we actually work. But we, we cut the logs and we set them in here and then um, basically I already have it somewhat marked where your chainsaw can actually go through um, to make all your, your cuts and the log splitter that we use is a wolf ridge we bought this several years ago before um, they got popular actually when he was just starting out um, is when we actually bought this we found this and bought this um, now they're super expensive and if the cost was what they are now there's no way i would have bought this one but luckily i bought it several years ago um, when they were just getting started and so it was definitely um, worth an investment yeah, we done that so it's pretty good it's got a bunch of different attachments six-way blade and splits it different ways 35 ton so we'll do a couple of uh, a little bit of shots here when it's running and uh, you'll see how, how it works um, but and there's the working crew over there all happy and excited to to get going <laughs> This is what zero dollars an hour looks like. So, here we go. Now that you saw, I guess, a little bit of how this log splitter works, uh, I'll go over a couple of things of why we actually chose this one. We did have a kind of thing, I think it was a timber ridge or something they bought out um, or sold out, and that's when we ended up selling our old log splitter. Excuse me there, Hercules. Um, anyway, we got one box filled up. One of the things that I like about this log splitter and why I actually sold the other one that bending over on the ground is hard on your back. And I'm 6'1", so I'm kind of a tall individual. And just the other log splitters are so low to the ground, you find yourself working over them all day long, like kind of bent over. And that's what really set this one apart for me is it's a much higher off the ground unit. And so you can stand here and work comfortably at the waist. And it's not that big a deal. And so, um, when it comes to the controls, you got your wedge, hydraulic wedge goes up and down. Um, log lift, of course, goes up and down. It's got an auto cycle. If you saw in the video, we would just hit it forward. You'd work, take a little bit of break, and it automatically retracts. And, uh, of course, the Honda GX390 engine on it. So, I mean, it's a really, really good built unit. But, uh, like I said, now, they're, they would be out of my price range. Um, I'm just glad I found this company several years ago when they first got started um but anyway i expect this one should last me the rest of my life but that's what we do we just take and only handle the wood one time well really twice uh splitting the wood we put it in these uh totes um that the plastic jugs used to you see them around everywhere and we take the jugs out and just use the metal frames fill it up move it with the tractor and we kind of stack it in the barn and uh running in the shed 
and most of the time we have all this stuff cut and we're not doing this we're actually doing it for next year's but we've gotten behind because we as you can see we just we just got finished doing all this fencing and so that was last winter's project doing all this fencing and uh we just ran behind so we were able to cut the logs so they would dry out but ideally i like to actually have all my wood split by easter um but probably won't happen again this year because we got more winter projects of clearing land and everything else so we'll probably be doing the same thing next year but one of these years we'll get caught up like we used to and have all of our wood split by easter for the following year so Well, that concludes uh, this portion of our how we heat our, our house and uh, kind of going over the Wolf Ridge log splitter. Stay tuned. Check out other videos. Like and subscribe if you like the content. And uh, appreciate everyone's support.